Welcome to Man on the Munjaro. Thank you so much for coming. If you're here for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. You want to make sure you get an update for all the videos that we do on this channel. We try to bring you some of the most informative content on the web as it relates to not only Munjaro, but GLP-1 medications, weight loss medications as well. But let's jump right into it today. This is a topic that I have wanted to get into for weeks. Because it all relates to uh, Munjaro. A lot of people are losing this prescription right now, whether uh, it's because you're, you're taking it for weight loss and the coupon rug's been pulled out from underneath you, you can't get that prior authorization, whatever it may be. We've covered on this channel the fact that there are some really exciting medications in the pipeline, not only from Eli Lilly, but from other drug manufacturers as well. But the ones from Eli Lilly that we've covered extensively on this channel are going to be Ritatatride and or Forglapron. Now, Ritatatride is the one that takes Manjaro to the next level. Manjaro is better uh, than uh, a simple semaglutide medicine like Wagovi or Ozempic in that it acts on the G uh, GLP-1 uh, like semaglutide, but it also acts on the GIP. Ritatatride is a triacting a medication that also acts on uh, the glucagon receptors. So it's the triple acting. And it's at a certain phase in, in clinical trials, that I, and I just want to bring, bring some context to what clinical trials are and what that actually means uh, for how close we are to having something like ritatatride approved for weight loss. So let's get right into it today. I want to talk about the, the phases of these uh, trials that a drug goes through. So there's, there's technically four phases, but there's three phases that you have to get through as a drug manufacturer before you can submit a drug uh, to the FDA for uh, review, right? So let's talk about phase one. Now, phase one is the first stage of testing in humans for a medication. It typically involves a very small number of, of healthy volunteers. And the primary purpose of a phase one trial for a medication is to determine the safety of a medication and to determine the best way to administer that medication, right? So that's phase one. Phase two uh, of a medication's uh, clinical trials is going to involve a larger number of patients than did the first stage of the trial, and it's focused on determining the effectiveness of the medica of the medication in treating the targeted condition uh, that that medication is designed uh, to treat. Phase two also goes uh, uh, to to gather additional information on the safety of the medication. So you're talking about the effectiveness and the safety of the medication in those phase two trials. Now, if you followed the Eli Lilly call, a recap that I did last week, if not, go back and check that video. Uh, you know that ritatatride and orforglipron, the two next up and coming weight loss medications from Eli Lilly, uh, ritatatride, which is already showing promise to be even more effective at weight loss than Manjaro, is in phase three. Now, again, this is the third and final trial that a medicine has to go through before it can be submitted for regulatory review to the FDA. And that's where ritatatride is right now. Phase three is the largest and most comprehensive of the, of the clinical trials and involves hundreds or thousands of patients. And the primary focus of this study is to further evaluate the effectiveness of the medication and to monitor for any adverse side effects that, that the participants of the participants, excuse me, of the study may have. So that's phase three, and that's where we are with ritatatride and orforglipron. Now, orforglipron is the oral GLP-1 medication that uh, that's target is to be as effective as the injectables like Ozempic or Wegovy, right? So it's a single acting uh, on the GLP-1, like Ozempic or Wegovy or Trulicity for that matter. Um, ritatatride is another injectable, and, and it's, it's the triacting with a higher promise for weight loss than even Munjaro. So that's amazing news for those of you who are taking Munjaro for weight loss. You may have, you may have uh, approval this year by the FDA and we may see ritatatride hit the market this year. That's why it's so important right now to be advocating with your doctors, uh, or excuse me, with your employers rather, uh, on what kind of insurance plans they're gonna offer for next year so that you can make sure that obesity treatments are part of that because you're probably going to have the chance to get on ritatatride and it is going to be another game-changing medication. So let's talk about the fourth stage. So once a drug receives FDA authorization, it gets uh, to the point where it hits the market and people are taking it. The fourth stage begins 
then, and its primary focus is to monitor people long-term on the drug, to make sure that the, the long-term adverse effects, if any, of a medication are, are tolerable and reasonable. So that's phase four. But wanted to just touch on what those trials uh, mean, just generally speaking, so I could provide some context around what we've been talking about on this channel. That's why there's so much reason for hope. These medications are, are getting closer and closer. Manjaro as well, terzepatide, is also already in phase three trials. So uh, orforglipron, orforglipron and ritatotride are entering stage three in 2023, but Manjaro terzepatide has already been there. So we've got a really good shot at seeing FDA authorization by the mid-year on terzepatide for weight loss. And so hopefully uh, you all who have been kicked off the moon, as I called it, might have a chance to even get back on Manjaro this year. Just uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit of context and hopefully it helps you uh, have more hope for what's to come in the future. Stay positive, stay focused uh, on your goals, folks. Even if you've been kind of let down recently uh, with, with getting kicked off Manjaro, whatever it may be, I hope that this video has been helpful, if it has. Can you do me the favor and just share this? Share this into Facebook groups. Share this into your Reddit groups. It helps grow this channel. It's why I'm here, to grow this, to get the word out, to help each and every one of you. And we're hearing weekly about how many people we're helping, and it's so encouraging. Help me help other people. Appreciate you. You're the best part of this channel, and we'll see you on the next stream.